Dave, welcome. How are you today, okay? Hey, man, Doug, I'm doing great, man. We got a little fog here in Southern California, but when it's 70, I'm not, I'm not here to complain. You can come into New York in the Northeast and deal with ice in about five feet of snow if you wish, so there you go. Hey, don't think over to New York in about July. That's about it. <laughs> That's good enough. All right, here you go now as far as uh, James Shields is concerned. Listen, top of the rotation is in good shape. Boy, how about the Padres in 2015? How about the latest edition, Dave? Let me hear your take on that first. Yeah, you know, you know, Mad Dog, it, it's amazing. And, and growing up in, in San Diego and being a Padres fan my entire life and trying to, you know, you hear organizations about trying to do things and to plan for the offseason, but to kind of everything, you know, what's next? What's next? You get another trade, another sign, and then now to uh, ice on the cake with James Shields. We're excited. Should be, and he should do a tremendous job here. And, of course, the outfield with uh, Upton, Kemp, and Myers. You feel confident that Will Myers, Dave, you played it forever, so you would know. Do you feel confident that Will Myers can play center field in that big ballpark in San Diego? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, Mad Dog, you know as well as anyone, I think that, you know, you get a guy who's athletic and the will and the want to work and get better. You know, that that's a nice component right there. And also with the analytics and things like that, that our baseball operations provide us with information on scouting reports and, and positioning guys. Uh, plays a lot, and obviously, uh, you know, Justin and also Matt have been out the outfield for years, so I think they're going to work real well together, plus the guys that we have coming back. You do? All right. You can obviously have Maben out there if you need to put him in the outfield as well. Left side yeah, of the Venable. infield. Uh, yeah, Venable too. Left side of the infield uh, with Middlebrooks and Barmas, whoever plays shortstop. If you look at this ball club getting ready for spring training, Dave, we would say that's the weakness. How about the Padres in your eyes, left side of the infield? What do you see? Yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's, uh, you know, obviously uh, Clint Barmas has done a few years as far as catch the baseball. He's done that. And uh, Amaris has kind of, uh, you know, come into his own. It's kind of be a situation where I think that, you know, Buddy's going to find the right fit as far as shortstop position as far as, I don't want to say platoon, but kind of something like that. But, uh, uh, you know, and Middlebrook a couple years ago was a real nice player, nice young player. And, you know, just kind of getting to know him over the uh, over the winter. He's excited about being a Padre and uh Obviously, the ability is there, and we got Solarte who played well for us at the end of last year. So, you know what? I think that people look at it as a negative, but uh, we're looking, we're pretty excited about, uh, you know, all aspects of our ball club. All right, Jerko at second base needs to bounce back. How do we get him on track here in 2015, Dave? What do you see? I, I, I think he's right there. You know, obviously, you know, there were some things last year with, you know, signing into the big contract, you know, the sophomore slump, whatever people want to call it. But, you know, Jeb, uh, I was just talking about a month ago, coming to San Diego, and, He's been working with Mark Kotze, our new hitting coach, and he's excited. He's uh, ready to bounce back. And obviously, uh, you know, when you get a guy, when you get three guys uh, in the middle of the order, and you can kind of move Jed maybe down a little bit, take a little bit of pressure off. I think uh, Jed's going to bounce back and uh, be very productive for us. And Kemp had a great second half. You know, he's sort of now the poster boy of San Diego. He lives not too far from the ballpark. You know, to get traded from the Dodgers to go to the Padres, a lot of players don't love that. He had a big smile on his face uh, on media day. <laughs> and you but noticed gonna... that smile, didn't you? Oh, I sure did. Look at him right there. We have it to your, uh, on camera as we speak. How about Kemp? I would think he's got a little chip on his shoulder to prove the Dodgers wrong, correct? Yeah. No, you know what? I, I think that, you know, he, I think he's looked at it, you know, realistically he had a great run in Los Angeles. And he's always going to, you know, enjoy his time there in Los Angeles. But it's a new chapter. And I think that in talking to uh, Buddy and the players that have been around Matt this, uh, this winter, he's been at the ballpark sitting and things like that. Uh, he's excited about this new chapter and helping us, uh, you know, win and win a championship. And it's funny, you know, when you get a guy like Matt Kemp and, you know, when he steps in that clubhouse every day, you know, the bar has been raised. And uh, so we're excited. Well, listen, we all know about bars. You played in Boston. Nobody knows more about it than you do. Uh, you know, this team now has got a little expectation level. You know, 82 and 80, uh, you know, being competitive is not going to wash. You know that better than anybody, Dave. How about the bullseye on back? I like to use that term. How about that as far as the Padres go coming up this year? I, I think that uh, we welcome it. I, I think that as play, uh, as from speaking for the players and I think that uh, the coaching staff and speaking for Buddy as well is, you know, obviously you got to first, uh, you know, say thanks to the ownership who just kind of uh, opened up their wallets and really committed to, to winning and backed up what they talked about. And, you know, AJ and baseball operations kind of doing their due diligence and making things happen. But I think as far as the Bulls on the back, I mean, that's what we signed up for. That's what we want. We want good players. We want to win. And I think that, uh, you know, obviously the onus is on us to, uh, to win baseball games, and we want nothing more than to bring a championship here to San Diego. And how many times do you get? I, you will never get tired of it. My co-anchor here, Bruce Shines, annoyed he's a Yankee fan, 
the greatest stolen base in baseball history for the Boston Red Sox. I always bring it up to you. Here's the play right now at Mariano. You were not safe by an awful lot, Dave. You made it, but you were not safe with that left hand by an awful lot. You know that? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, Joe West made an outstanding call, and I'm just uh, even. I think even Matt Dog, even with replay, I think I'd still be in there. So it was close. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> you know, I, I talked to Mel Stoudemire about that a lot. You know what his big regret is? He didn't What's pitch that? out. He didn't pitch. I told you that. He did not pitch out. He felt you were going to go. And his biggest regret was he didn't pitch out in that particular play. How about that? Yeah, that, that, that's amazing. And I talked to, uh, you know, Derek uh, a couple years after. He said, God, I told Mo we should have thrown over four more times because we knew you were going. So everyone's got their score, but I'm just happy the way it played out. <laughs> you get a standing ovation the rest of your life in Beantown. Good job, Dave. We talk soon. Thanks very much. I appreciate it today. You're the best. Take care.